my name is Sasha. I'm a fourth year medical student and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've been away for a while, but I've been running around and doing my rotations. So today I decided to discuss with you an important topic, which is an addition rotation. Before we jump in to what is an addition rotation, let's talk about medical school and the breakdown. So you have year one and year two. Year one and year two are mostly going to be in the classroom. You're going to be learning about the different courses of medical school, such as your pathology, microbiology, physiology, anatomy, all of those fun stuff. After year two, you're going to take your assembly one and your COMEX level one. Then when you start year three, you're going to transition from the classroom environment into the clinical and hospital environment. Your rotation can be split up into a two week, a four week, or an eight week or a six week, depending on the university that you go to. Once again, depending on the school that you go to, the number of electives and number of core rotations that you're gonna be doing in your third year is going to be different than someone else that goes to a different school and a different program. Sadly, year three is where you're going to be split up from your classmates and you're all going to be starting at different specialties at different rotations through different times of the year. At the end of year three, this is where you study and you take your USMLE 2 and COMEX level 2 for your board examinations, and then you transition into year four. Year four is known to be one of the best years of medical school, and that's because you end up doing something that you really like and you're very excited to figure out where you're going to be for the next three to five to seven years of your life and hopefully gain some stability. One of the biggest challenges for this year is your ERAS application. That means, remember when you applied to medical school, you had the MCAS application that we needed to fill out? Same thing, now we have the ERAS application. This is where you have to fill out all of your requirements, your experiences, you put your letters in, and basically you choose a select number of programs that you're applying to, and you send it out and hope for the best. Which brings us to the topic of an addition rotation. An addition rotation, is when as a fourth year, you rotate through a clinical or hospital-based specialty that has a residency program. For example, if you want to become a surgeon and you filled out your ERAS application and you're applying to surgical specialties, now you need to plan your elective rotations in surgery. So there are two main ways to go about this. You either apply through VSAS or you email programs separately. A lot of the programs do participate in VSAS and now it's called, I think, VSLO, VSLO. So basically you sign in and you research programs that have a residency program in the specialty of your choosing, such as let's say surgery. This application service is open during specific times of the year and it varies from hospital and program to program. So you have to be on top of it early on to see what dates this application service opens so that you can submit your application to addition at that program. If you email the program separately, then you don't have to deal with that. You just deal with the program coordinator and you settle something up with the school and that program. One of the challenges that you might experience during these addition rotations or setting them up is the paperwork. You have to make sure that your school and the program are both on the same page and that you are cleared and confirmed and ready to start that rotation. Some students have incredible residency program options in their specialty of choice in their own state or near their home, which is great because then you can save a lot of money. But as you know, it's very competitive. So a lot of students apply broadly and they apply to programs that they see themselves wanting to go to. So they end up leaving the state to go to certain residency programs that they're interested in. Because of the pandemic, Things have been very limited. So students have been averaging around two to three additional rotations in a year with the away rotations being harder to get. A lot of you are thinking, what is an away rotation? An away rotation is when you go and you rotate through a residency program that has a specialty that is outside of the vicinity of your school and its affiliations. That means if I'm in California, and I want to fly to Florida to do my rotation, then that would be considered an away rotation. Many of you are thinking, wow, that sounds so exciting. And it is, it is very exciting. But when you have two to three of these away rotations, it's not so fun on the money and the budget. That being said, here are my tips for you. Make sure that you clear all the affiliation, the paperwork ahead of time, have a set schedule that is planned out email the program coordinator so that you know where to go, see where you can stay, where other students have previously stayed in the past so that you have safe housing options. And if you can, try to book a flight ahead of time, check out the deals, figure out your rental car situation, 
I also recommend staying in an hotel just because it's a lot safer than an Airbnb if you're on your own. But if you find a good area with great Airbnb options, that's also wonderful. Some residents at certain programs offer housing and renting for students. So if you're able to get any cheap good deal, great, save your money as much as you can. The goal of this addition rotation is to figure out, are you a good fit for this program? It's not just about them liking you, it's also about, do you like this program? Can you see yourself as a resident? Can you see yourself pursuing your training and living here for a couple of years of your life? Make sure you ask every single question you have in your mind in terms of benefits, hours, schedules, pay, lifestyle, all the questions that you have, make sure that you ask them because that is the opportunity that you will get to understand the program and for them to get to know you. That being said, I'm going to post some videos about my experiences in my away rotations. And of course, as always, please, if you have any questions regarding fourth year additions, all of that, comment below and I'll try to make videos about them. Thank you so much for watching and take care.